next week's newest release coming soon, we want to highlight some of the new features of their 2012.2 update that can really help TrueCloud customers get the most from their NetSuite investment. One of these helpful new features is the single-use promotion code. This feature is great for NetSuite customers who offer promotions via Groupon, Deal Chicken, or Google Offers, and it can easily be integrated into your current marketing efforts. At TrueCloud, we can help you implement this feature by using the single-use promo code and maximize the value that NetSuite has to offer. In the Classic Center, if you go to Lists, Marketing, Promotions, New, you have the standard fields from the previous NetSuite releases. Down here, if you select Single-Use, you'll have the ability to tell NetSuite how many codes you would like to generate. In this case, I'm going to generate 100 unique codes. Over here in the code pattern, NetSuite has recently defined some formulas you can use to have it generate uh, unique strings. These strings can be alpha, numeric, or alpha numeric. I'm going to start off with test, hyphen, and then in between these two brackets is where you define NetSuite's new formula. In this case, I'm looking for five uh, alpha characters, so I'm going to say A period, put my 5. I'm going to do another hyphen, and in between these two brackets I'm going to have NetSuite choose a random numeric value. To do that I'll do n period, and this time I want 5 random numbers. If I save it now, NetSuite is going to run through and generate, based on our code pattern, and based on the number of codes we requested, unique codes. What we can do with these now is we can send them out in marketing campaigns and in the cases where a group is larger than the number of codes that you specified, if your code pattern has the ability to continue uh, creating unique codes, NetSuite will be able to create codes in the marketing campaigns that don't currently exist in the sublist. So if we had a group that had 150 people, NetSuite would generate 50 more unique codes and assign them to the template as they go out to each customer. The other way that you can go about creating promotion codes is to generate the unique codes outside of the system in an Excel file, for example, and import them. I'm going to do a new promotion code. Here I need to select single use again. This time I'm going to leave both of these fields blank and save it. Now if I go to Lists, Marketing, Import Coupon Codes, you're taken to a screen where you can select a file. NetSuite has also provided a template that you can download, and that template is going to result in a CSV file with promotion, coupon code, customer, and date sent as your header columns. What you need to do then is populate either the name of the promotion or the internal ID of the promotion. The coupon code, um, just like NetSuite's randomly generated codes, need to be unique. If you would like to assign it to a specific customer, you can, otherwise you can leave that blank. And the date sent, you can either populate or leave blank as well. The reason why you might want to select a customer is if you need to assign coupon codes that you're going to assign to specific customers and only that customer should be able to use it this would be the place to do that. Otherwise, you can leave it blank and anyone who knows that code can use that code. Um, as soon as it's used the first time, it then will become inactive. The date sent could be populated if you were having a, a special at your store and as the customer was checking out or leaving and you handed them a slip of paper. Um, that would be one example of when you would need to assign it a date. I have this file I've saved it. If I select my CSV file, I can hit Next, which takes me to the mapping stage. The mapping stage should be familiar to anyone who's used NetSuite CSV importer before. You select your field on the left, assign it to a field on the right, and off you go. If I hit Run, it'll take us to the job status page where you can see previous imports. Our file has just finished importing. We see that three of three were successful. It's recommended and best practice to always go back and review what you just imported. So I'm going to go to List, Marketing, Promotions. And here is the promotion code that we just set up. 
you can see that our codes were imported successfully. With a unique code here, if we click on it, we can see that coupon code 234-Dave is assigned to the customer Dave Rice. So only Dave will be able to use this promotion code as he's logged into your store and is checking out. Another new feature with these promotion codes is the ability to send these unique codes out to your marketing campaign. You can do that by creating a template. And in your template, if you specify NL coupon code, and as you're setting up the marketing campaign itself, if you specify a promotion code that uses these single-use coupon codes, it will assign one of these codes to each email as it goes out. And as we talked about earlier, if during your initial creation of the promotion code, you don't create enough codes for the number of people in the group, NetSuite is smart enough to generate enough coupon codes to cover everyone in that group. If the random code that you've assigned your promotion code isn't random enough to generate enough codes for everyone in the group, some emails will not be sent. That finishes up our promotion code um, walkthrough and how to use the new single-use capability. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at TrueCloud. Alex Littlejohn. Thanks.